Hi, uh, welcome back to uh, another Kingdom Coffee video. Uh, continuing the theme of Descale, this time we're going to be concentrating on this particular machine here, which is called the Marco Thermo Brew. Um, very much like the Bravalor Novo Pour and Serve, it works on exactly the same principle. Um, and the point of this video is really to uh, ensure that the boiler inside this machine is looked after. In other words, it's free of scale. It's very simple to undertake, and essentially I'm going to show you how to do that now. So, as with before, we always recommend this Bravalor Benajak sachet of 50, 50 gram. Um, again, over the years we found it to be really effective, and it's relatively expensive, and obviously will give longevity to your machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty the contents of this sachet into 2.2 litres of clean water. Now this jug obviously comes with a machine, uh, it has a gauge on the outside so it's easy enough to put in the right amount of water. What I'm going to do is empty the content of here, of this sachet, into this here and give it a good stir. As with all these filter machines, if you put hot water into them and turn them on, it doesn't really like it in the, in the respect that it feels like it's being rushed and what it might end up doing is spitting uh, water out or in some cases steaming. So, I've used hot water here because I've obviously got uh, crystals that need to be dissolved. I and mean, if you do it in cold water, it can take an awful long time to do. So this is just warm, so it's not too bad. What I'm going to do is give it a, a vigorous stir, um, and essentially you're going to end up with a very clear liquid. But I'm going to make sure that all the crystals are dissolved. If not, you're going to enter them in the machine, they're going to sit at the bottom of the boiler, and they're going to, you're going to find it hard then to remove them. So, once we've completed that, let's have a quick look. Yep. Inside there now, all the crystals are gone. What I'm going to do is just pour this into the front of the machine as you ordinarily would if you're making coffee. So what I'm going to do is be careful to make sure I don't spill it. And this will be 2.2 litres of this solution straight into the machine. So this is now dropping down into the boiler. So that's done, and you close it in. Now, legislation dictates that I should leave this machine alone, especially when there's chemicals in it. And um, so really, because the machine is clean on a regular basis, you only need to leave this solution in there for five minutes. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to cut away from here. We'll come back in a moment after it's sat in the boiler doing the descaling uh, in five minutes' time. Hi, so we're now back after five minutes. Um, it's probably given enough time, obviously, for the descale solution to do its job inside the boiler. And of course, it's allowed for that slightly warm solution to cool down a little bit. So really, all that needs to be done now, of course, is turn on the machine. What I've done is I've replaced the jug that I used earlier with the flask, for obvious reasons that it sits nicely and it's very close between the pan and here, so any liquid that comes out will drop straight into this empty flask. All that remains to be done, the pan's in place, is just to pop on the switch on the side here and that will begin the brew process. Now normally this takes about six minutes to go through so we won't sit and watch that entire six minute process. We'll come back to you when it's finished but as you will know already you can see the liquid has started to pass through the filter pan uh, into the flask below and uh, we'll come back in six minutes when it's finished. sink area. Reason being of course we have to dispose of the descale solution. Best place to put it, down the sink. So what I'm going to do is just remove the central pipe here from this flask and I'm just going to hold it up like this and tip it over the sink. Now the liquid in here of course is going to be warm or hot so do be careful. Uh, just gradually pour it away like this. Now the key thing is of course you're going to be using this flask to make coffee. Um, very soon. So what you want to do is make sure there's no solution really left in there. The best way to do that is then just pull this over here, pop on the tap, and just maybe fill it a third of the way up with some hot water, like I am right now. And then what we're going to do is close that off. We can close the lid as such, and then really we can just give it a little bit of a shake, a little bit of a wash around like that. We can open up the top. Pour away the content and really all you need to do is replace the pipe in the top, snap the lid shut and that's your coffee jug clean. So that's one part that's done. Now obviously there's still some solution left in the machine so what I'm going to do is lift this over here 
Now the reason I'm showing you this, and I'll explain in a second, is obviously about protecting the electrics. So I'm just going to remove uh, the filter pan out of the way. Now there's a way of doing this. When you pour this correctly into the sink, you're going to get water that's going to come out the top and also out of the rows underneath. What you want to try and do is protect this area here. I mean, there are electrics inside. Um, it'd be very difficult for moisture or water to get in there, but the obvious thing, if you don't pour it on there, it's not going to happen. So what I'm going to do is just lift that top. I'm going to hold it underneath like this, and I'm going to pour it over the sink. And if you watch, you'll see the water come out both the top and underneath. There we go. And if you just let that drip out, and you just rock it backwards and forwards a couple of times, then obviously all that liquid inside um, will be gone. Now what we've got to do now, of course, is you've emptied it all, but there could be a little bit of residue left in there. So we're going to return back uh, to the workbench and we're going to uh, flush it through. And I'll show you how to do that next. Okay, so what I've done is I've now obviously returned the machine here uh, to the worktop. We've entered it these scale solution, but of course there could be a little bit of residue left in the boiler. So what I want to do is make sure we flush that out. I've obviously reconnected the power at the back. So what I'm going to do, as best I can, is carefully put this 2.2 litres of cold water in the front of the machine again. Now, I am going to be careful in doing this. Now, once this water is safely in place, again, the process is going to take the usual six minutes to complete. There we are. That's good. All done. So, again, what I've done is I've put this flask underneath. Now, I did rinse this out earlier, but of course, this is going to be hot water, hot clean water that's going to be dispensed into there. So, it's not a bad thing because it just gives it another flush out. So all I need to do now, of course, is just reach around the side as I did before and turn on the power and literally uh, within 20-30 seconds you'll see a stream of water start to obviously come out the bottom of the filter pan. Once that's done, all you need to do, of course, is empty the machine again in the sink as we did before, along with the flask, and then your machine is ready to use. So whilst it is doing this, I'm just going to go back and uh, mention a couple of things that's really important, actually. Descaling. How often do you do it? There's a lot of different thoughts on uh, you know, the periods you're supposed to do it, but I would suggest for every case of filter coffee that you put through the machine, which is 50 sachets, you should use one Renegade sachet. That way everybody knows where they are. And what it means, of course, is that the liquid that's being dispensed during the descal process is clear. And it tells you essentially that you're looking after your machine. And the most important thing is that it'll give you lots of long life. One thing I will mention to you, of course, actually, which is um, an absolute no-no, um, and it's really important that you don't do this, is at the front of the machine here, where you put your clean water, what you don't want to do is dispense the content of a filter sachet into this front part here. If you do, you will flush it down into the boiler, and uh, that's a difficult one to remedy. So just make sure that in the front part of this machine, you put water only, whether it's from making coffee, descaling, or as we're doing now, flushing it through. So essentially, that is how to descale your thermal.